Hey guys, this is Veron, who speak of the stars, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another companion piece, and this connected to a different video that I did a little bit ago, not too long ago, titled The Moon Prince, where I wanted to draw just a guy that sort of personified or represented the moon, and of course I needed to do a counterpart, and I wanted to do a sun princess avatar of sorts. Now, in traditional old um, myths, legends, and stuff like that, usually the sun is portrayed as male, like Apollo, um, you know, I, I, many myths and legends portray the sun as a masculine figure, though a lot of modern and contemporary works sort of try to you know, reverse that and stuff like that. But I wanted to do my own take. I wanted to do my own little sun princess. And I just had fun with it. So, compared to the more... How they put this? Like, vul vulnerable pose of the moon prince. I wanted the sun princess to be a bit more in control. Um, she... Like, her pose is not very guarded. But it's very formal, and it's not as off guard as the one with the moon pins. And I sort of did that on purpose. And I really do love how her outfit turned out. Um, I may have been a little bit too influenced by the Arcana. It's a game I've been playing recently. It's a visual novel game. Um, is can you call it a visual novel game? It's like a you know. It's a otoge game. <laughs> Either way, um, I may have been a little bit influenced by Nadia Satrinava, but maybe unconsciously, yeah, definitely. <laughs> but I still do like how this turned out. Um, the colors that I chose were really, I don't know, it, it really did suit the sun, a sun princess of sorts. It was more colorful and vibrant. And eye-catching than the more subdued colors for the moon pins. And I even added like this really, cur really small curly cues at the sides. Just to fill in the space and like make it not... Not to make the background as overwhelming as I thought it would be. So I wanted to draw a darker skin character. She is the sun princess after all. She would be a little bit more sunburned than usual characters that I've done. And I did mention in some drawings in the past that I wanted to push towards darker skin tones a bit more. So I am slowly learning how to deal with darker skin tones. And I had fun. Um, another interesting thing was that since her sleeves, yeah, her sleeves are a bit transparent. Um, I had to go a little bit lineless for a bit there. I didn't really notice it until I was painting it. So I just kind of flew with it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was worried that there was so much gold and yellow tones that it would be a bit too yellowish. But especially when I add this background, I add in the background very very early because I wanted to know how it would affect the lighting of the character or how or like what kind of colors I should pick. That's why I did end up with the pink. Originally, I wanted her to either be very white and orange or white and red. But when I put in the sun background, I felt like it would be a bit too hot or it's, a bit, it's a bit, gonna be a bit too warm. So I decided to go with like a pink, sort of pinkish tone instead. Choosing more subdued colors against a hot red and choosing colors that would complement well with the sun. So that's how I ended up with the colors, even though I will admit I was influenced a little bit by the Arcana. But let's leave it at that. <laughs> I wanted her to have red hair, but again, as I mentioned, it would be a little bit too hot. Like, there would be too many 
hot vibrant colors trying to vie for your eye so i wanted pink instead it works it, I, th I think it works so yeah I've been, I've been relying quite a bit recently on swatches a bit more, especially with, I have like three palettes of different watercolors, like you, you can see two of them right now, <laughs> one being the Pima, Confection, uh, Pima Marketing Watercolor Confection Skin Tone Palette, and I am also using the Sakura Koi Palette, um, I have the Kuretake to call this Gansai Tambi Hidden Away. I didn't use it this time, but because there are certain colors that are, exist, I mean, I feel like the, the swatches have been helping me a lot more choosing what kind of colors I want. Like, I've been trying to study a bit more on using warm tones and cool tones and how to mix them or how not to mix them to make my colors not muddy. I know some people like do that mixing swatch chart thing, but honestly, I don't have. Well, I don't really have the patience for it, or rather, I feel it would be helpful, but I feel I can also sort of uh, like feel my way through, so I'll be fine, I think. I also love what I did with this like dark. What color is this? What color did they use? I think that's the indigo, yeah. This is the indigo color, so I really love that part because it really contrasted so well with everything. Um, it gave a really nice balance to everything. It's not all warm colors. And yeah, and I also tried to help it a little bit by using a cool toned, quote unquote, a cool toned. What color would you call that? It's not exactly a purple. But I did use purple to do that with the mix of blue, but um, yeah, it was more about this piece was more about trying to balance the color tones, not to make it so bright that it burns your eyes. Um, the Moon Prince one was more just me relaxing and playing around with the paint. Here, it's more of like balancing and trying to find a good center point for everything. One thing I think I could improve upon is that the skin, um, I lost a bit of definition given that the piece is a bit small and she isn't as closed up in as the moon pins, but I lost a little bit of definition in the face. I wish I didn't lose that definition. Oh well, I can do better next time, I guess. <laughs> But I don't know, I feel like she looks more, uh, she looks quite powerful and not really domineering but more like she's in control. Like that's the vibe that I'm getting from this piece. And I think it fits well with the sun theme and being a sun princess. She's not like whimsical and dainty, she's like, she's, she's there, she's here, she has arrived type of thing. <laughs> So now I'm just tweaking the background, I'm adding a bit more interest to it by adding some gradient. I'm gonna be using some orange over here to just give it a bit more depth and not make it look so flat. It does make it look less yellow. <laughs> so that worked pretty well. And I, I enjoyed this piece a lot. Um, I like, if, if you have been watching me for quite a while, you know that I would that I you would know rather that, that I like playing with hair, um, even though my hair is super short. But like whatever, um, I like playing with hair, especially with it like moving out of the frame and stuff like that. 
and I just really enjoyed this piece. <laughs> I I enjoyed moon prints in a relaxing way. I enjoyed sun princess in a very active and I won't say aggressive in a very active way, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, you'll be jumping into the preview soon. If you like this video, please do consider subscribing or even just liking the video, whatever you want to do. I do a lot of art in general, both traditionally and digitally. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt for updates and whips. I post it there. And I will see you around.